The Ariane 5 launcher, and especially the powerful new version, the 10-ton Ariane 5, is vital for Europe's independent access to space and leadership in the global launch business. Since the European Space Agency ESA began with the development of Ariane 5 in 1987, the launch market has become more complex and the competition more aggressive. Both the size and weight of satellites have increased, and now launchers must be able to transport these larger, heavier satellites. Satellites offer a wide range of services, not just telecommunications, but also Earth observation and navigation. They also carry scientific instruments for astronomers and planetary scientists. Launchers must be capable of sending satellites into different orbits for different missions. Finally, launchers that put more than one satellite into orbit can offer the customer a lower launch price. The new Ariane 5 has been designed to meet all these challenges. In fact, Ariane 5 represents a whole generation of launchers, being continuously adapted over a production lifetime of about 20 years. The current Ariane 5 can launch two satellites with a total weight of 5.9 tons into orbit 36,000 kilometers above the equator, where communication satellites maintain a fixed or geostationary position above the Earth. It's been in operation for three years, during which some improvements have been made. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Today, Ariane 5 has become the workhorse of Europe's launch industry. For the new 70% more powerful 10-ton Ariane 5, ESA has developed an upgraded main engine and a more powerful upper stage to increase the capacity from 5.9 to 10 tons. The maiden flight of the new launcher, numbered 157, is set for November the 28th, 2002. The new Vulcan 2 main engine of the 10-ton Ariane 5 is a beefed-up version of Ariane 5's main stage Vulcan 1, which alone would increase the launcher's performance by 1.3 tons. Combining it with an upgraded upper stage, the launcher capacity reaches 10 tons. This upper stage is powered by the same engine as the third stage of the previous Ariane 4 launcher. After many tests and dress rehearsals, the 10-ton Ariane 5 is now ready for liftoff. Its flight will be Ariane Spus's 11th launch this year, carrying two large spacecraft. The experimental telecommunications satellite Stentor, developed by the French space agency CNES, and Eutelsat's Hotbird 7 satellite. In parallel, an even more powerful and versatile Ariane 5 launcher is being prepared. Its upper stage will carry a new engine able to make multiple restarts in flight, allowing for launches into multiple orbits and exciting missions to other planets. The first flight is planned for 2006. Although Ariane 5's capacity has increased significantly, its price has not. Along with reliability, a competitive price per kilo of payload put into orbit is the key to maintaining a leading position in the commercial launch market for both Ariane Spas and Europe. 